Hello, and welcome to the Conscious Hoof Beat Podcast. This is a podcast that explores the interconnectedness of our health and the health of our horses through self care, mindfulness, and personal development, along with a little equine wisdom and wellness. I am your host, Dr. Pamela Maynard. I'm a published author and researcher, equine body worker, energy facilitator, and I am passionate about deepening our connection with horses. If you want a more meaningful relationship with your horse, it starts within yourself. So don't forget to go to ConsciousHoofBeat.com and sign up for our exclusive email list and start your inner journey today. Today I want to talk to you about a concept of mine that started as a master's thesis in 2006 and is still alive and well within me today. This concept is contemplative practices with horses because I believe that being with horses is a contemplative practice. And when I say being, I mean every aspect of being. Grooming, tacking, riding, groundwork, feeding, exercising, going for a hand walk, and yes, sometimes just sitting and being with your horse. Incorporating contemplative practices into my life has been an integral part of my inner work and personal growth, and as a result, has totally changed my relationship with my horses for the better. The Institute for Contemplative Education defines a contemplative practice as an experiential mode of learning and self-inquiry. Historically, contemplative practice has been related to world spiritual traditions, but for more than 30 years now, fields like psychology, medicine, and education have recognized that contemplative practice is associated with well-being. As a result, Contemplative practices are now being taught in non-religious forms and are a current resource for resilience by agnostics and atheists, as well as those holding strong spiritual and religious views. So, what exactly is a practice? I know that practice is not necessarily a common term among the horse community. Even though I always say that horses are my spiritual practice and the barn is my church, many people consider horses a job or profession, a hobby, or even a luxury, but few consider it a practice. Personally, I believe that being in nature and with horses are my connection to the divine. My adorer, creator and channeler of the Tree of Contemplative Practices, defined practice as an activity that you do on a regular basis, ideally each day, that helps you to cultivate the following. A sense of self-awareness, joy, equanimity, resilience, and compassion for yourself and others. I don't know about you, But for me, I definitely experience these things through my practice with horses. When I think of horses as a contemplative practice, it brings awareness and sheds light to what I am doing with them at every given moment, instead of just going through the motions. So I'm curious, what is your personal sense of practice with your horse? How does it affect your life? As a horse lover, I can't look at the tree of contemplative practices and not think about horses. All diverse contemplative practices are connected by two common roots. All aspects of the tree are represented in the root system. And that root system is communion and connection with something greater than yourself. An awareness of the wisdom that lives inside you including your habits, choices, and patterns. These two roots are what distinguish the difference between a regular riding activity from a practice. It is the intention to connect to something larger 
than yourself. A daily practice starts with the commitment to bring awareness, care, and presence to all aspects of your equine partnership. It is for those who strive for a healthy body, a clear mind, and an open heart, and a dedication to a higher purpose. It is an integral experience, meaning comprehensive, whole, and balanced. It explores terrain of your own inner awareness. It is founded in deep care, care for ourselves, care for others, and care for our horse. A lasting daily practice is the only way to sustain transformation in your life. So if you are looking to transform some aspect of your life, I challenge you to start considering horses as a contemplative practice. And until next time, enjoy your horse.